Okay, guys. So, it's me, New Hampshire and West Virginia. So, I am going to teach you about acid and base solutions. So, what happens if we put a positive and negative wire connected to a bulb in water? That is H2O. You can see the bulb is shining less brighter. So, what happens if we put the, the wires that are connecting to the bulb in strong acid? This is a strong acid. So, let's put the bulb in. You can see the bulb is shining brighter now. Now, what happens if we put it in weak acid? It shines even less brighter. What happens if we put it in strong base? And that's M-O-H. It shines much brighter like the strong acid. Now what happens if we put it in the weak base? It's shining less brighter like the weak acid. And the water is has less molecules in it, so it shines less brighter. Whereas the strong acid and strong base are, have more molecules in it, that makes the bulb shine brighter. Whereas the weak acid and the weak base shine less brighter. So what hap let's try it out with litmus paper. What happens if we uh, type the litmus paper in water? It turns golden brown. So this so the the the, the this the this thing here is the the pH color key. So let's match the colors. It's now at 7 pH. Let's check. We're right. It's at 7 pH. Now what happens if we put the litmus paper in strong acid? It turns red, so bright red. Now the pH level is at two. Now what happens if we put it in the weak acid? It turns golden brown like the water. But, uh, but much, much darker. Now the pH level is at four and a half fifty pH. Oh, well, what happens if we put it in the strong base? The strong base has lots and lots of molecules like the strong acid. It turns uh, navy blue. It's, it turns teal. The pH is at 12. Now what happens if we put the litmus paper in weak base? It turns hunter green. Now the pH level is at ten. So uh, sorry. it's at nine and a nine fifty nine point fifty pH. So make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, 
and don't forget to turn on post notifications. Goodbye.